Hello, everyone. How are you? Thank you for your clicking and welcome back to TBT class. Here is about primary auxiliary verb that I want to show everyone learn how to use primary auxiliary verb one by one. Okay, so as you see, the first I let you know about auxiliary verb, and then this one is the first part that talking about primary auxiliary verb. And you know, primary auxiliary verb, we refer to three types of primary auxiliary verb, verb to be, to do, and verb to have. You get it? So, this one letter A about verb to be. I want to let everyone know one by one about verb to be first, and then when you finish verb to be, let you move to verb to do and verb to have. One by one, with me, okay? So, how do we use verb to be as primary auxiliary verb in this video? And I let you see here about progressive, passive, and general condition that we use with verb to be as primary auxiliary verb. Okay, so progressive here I refer to progressive form or progressive tense, or we can call another way continuous tense. And passive here we're talking about passive way. And general condition here we talk about the way that we use verb to be with general situation that we see verb to be plus noun, adjective, or noun phrase, or preposition like that, okay? So, one by one with me about this part related to verb to be as primary auxiliary verb. To make you clear about this, just pay your attention with me one by one, okay? Yes, everyone, as you see here, verb to be, you know, verb to be, when we talk about verb to be, we also refer to type of verb to be like am, is, are, was, and, and were. Okay? So, am, is, are, was, were, they are the parts of verb to be conjugated. Yes? So, am, is, are, we use for present meaning. Was, were, we use for past meaning. The first step for you, just know that verb to be, we refer to am, is, are, verse, were. And am, is, are, we use for present time, and verse, were, we use for past time. So here, I want you to know progressive form, passive form, and general condition. So what is progressive? What is passive? And what is general condition? I am going to tell you, everyone. What is progressive? What is passive? And what is general condition? Okay, so progressive here, I'm talking about continuous tense, or we can talk about continuous form or progressive form. So progressive form, we use with the base form B plus verb ing. And when? When do we use this form? When we want to talk about the situation or the action is happening while we are talking. So this form is normally used to talk about happening actions. So as you see this form, be plus in form. Okay? And then, you're gonna see this one passive form. When? When do we use passive form or passive word with be plus verb 3? When you want to talk about a situation that subject is the receiver of the action in the sentence. Okay? So passive words we use to talk about the subject can do the action by by themselves, you know? When you want to express about the idea that we focus on object only, you know? So we can use this, this form, yes? And verb three here, I mean past participle verb, you know? The third form of verb, yes. And general condition, we talk about the um, general situation that we use verb to be plus adjective, plus noun preposition or noun phrase etc. So when we see this form, we talk about general condition. Okay? Yes, everyone, hope you see it. So to make you clear about verb to be as primary auxiliary verb, move your feeling to see example with me. So let you see simple sentence and learn to change simple sentence to be progressive, passive, or general condition with me. I say, I teach English. Yes, you can see this sentence. We can call simple sentence or simple present. 
this one. Do you see verb be here? No, we don't see verb be, just see subject, main verb teach, and object English. You know, we don't see verb be here. But now we are learning about verb to be as primary auxiliary verb. So now learn to change this simple sentence to be progressive form, passive form, or general condition with me. Okay, everyone, as you see, we don't see verb be here. But we want to change this sentence to be progressive form or passive form. How? How do we change? Okay, so we change like this. I can say, I am teaching English. Okay, do you see? I am teaching English. So you can see will be here. Am I right? Over here, am. Okay, will be here. So I use primary auxiliary will be between subject I and main verb teaching. Yes? So, this sentence that we call progressive form because we see verb B plus verb ING. You see this form? B plus ING form. So, when we want to make progressive form, don't forget to use primary auxiliary verb B to create progressive form like this. The first sentence, simple present, I say I teach English, but when I want to change this sentence to be progressive form, mean the action is happening now. I do subject, add primary auxiliary verb be, and then I change, I change the main verb teach to be teaching. So main verb from teach to be teaching, and then we keep form verb be plus ing, this and then become progressive form or continuous form. Okay, so again, can we change this and then to be past progressive form? We can, you can see, this one I told you already at the first, we use verse and verb for past time. So when you want to change this one to be past time, we change like this. I was teaching English. Okay? I was teaching English. So this and then to become past meaning. Because we see verb to be not am going on, we change am to be was with subject I. You know, I was teaching English. So this Ten is still progressive meaning, but the meaning we refer to past situation, not now. But this one we talk about now. I am teaching, so situation is happening now. But this one, situation was happening yesterday, last week, okay, before this time, like this. Okay, so like this, that I'm talking about progressive form. Not only present progressive, past progressive, can be future progressive as well. You can say, I will be taking you in one day, you know, like this. That's okay. We can say we talk about the future meaning, but it's still progressive form. Yes, you get it. Again, everyone, to express you, this is we call positive form. You know, this is we call positive form. But how do we make to be negative or question form? Helping verb or auxiliary verb, we used to have the same person and to be tenses, negatives, or question form. We just add adverb not at the middle of verb be and teaching. This one, you know. So we just add not here and then this sentence to be negative. So how? How do we change this sentence to be question? That's okay. We just move verb be to put be for subject and then this sentence to be question already. I can say was I teaching English? Okay, like this. You see? So we use verb to be primary auxiliary verb at the first. We put B for subject I, and then this sentence becomes question form. Like this. Very easy to recognize, everyone. That's okay. So the important part is just know that when you want to create progressive form or continuous form, verb B plus ING. That's enough. Okay? So I hope you understand about this. Let you move to passive form. How do I change this simple sentence to be passive form? Okay? Go on. Okay, you got the idea about progressive form, everyone? I hope. So now, let me move to verb to be that we use to create passive form. You see, passive form, we refer to verb be plus verb three. Verb three here, I'm talking about part participle verb, I mean third form of verb, you know? So when you see this form, verb be plus verb three, 
those sentences become passive voice. Can be present passive, can be past passive, can be future passive, no problem. But the important part we see will be plus verb three or past participle verb. Let us see. Now I keep this simple sentence to change, you know, to change. I teach English, you know, I teach English. So when I want to change this sentence to be passive, I must keep form B plus verb, verb three. Okay, how do we change? Let us see. I say, I am taught English. Okay, I am taught English like this. Okay, I can put by someone or by teacher. Okay, by you or by someone. Okay, by you. Okay, put here. So now you can see this sentence. The simple sentence, I teach English. And the second one, passive way, I am taught English by you. Or no need to put, this one is optional. We can put or not, that's okay. But the part that I want you to know, passive form with B plus verb three, here's, okay? You can see, subject I the same. I teach English, I, I the same. But the meaning is not the same. The first one means subject is the doer. I mean this one, I teach English, mean I myself do the action by my own self, you know? I do the action by my own self. But this one, I am taught, no. I don't do the action my own self. Someone teach me, okay? Or you teach me. This one, I am not a doer like this one. I am a receiver, you know? So I am taught English, mean that. You teach me English or someone teach me. So you can see verb B and plus verb 3 taught, and then this and then to become passive form already. So passive word, we talk about this situation. Okay, you got it? You can see. But I'm the auxiliary verb B plus verb 3. We just add adverb not in the middle of this, verb B and main verb taught, and this and then becomes negative. And when we move primary auxiliary verb B, present subject I, and then it becomes question form. You can see, I add not here. Okay, I add not here. In the middle of primary auxiliary verb B and main verb thought. So this and then to become negative. You get it? So when I want to change this and then to be question, I just move verb B to present subject here and then it become question. I can say, am I, you know, thought like that and question mark. Okay, so I hope you understand about passive voice. So now let me move to general condition. Why do we call this general condition? Let us say example. I can say, I am a teacher. You see, I am a teacher. You can see verb be here, and then after verb be, we see noun phrase, or we can see adjective, you know, adjective. A adjective, article uh, and teacher, noun. So this one we, we call noun phrase, okay? After, after verb to be noun, noun phrase. This one that we talk about general condition or situation. Let us see another one. She is beautiful. Yes, she beautiful, you can see. After verb be is, you can see adjective beautiful. Like this, general condition. How does she look like? She is beautiful, okay? Another one, you can say, what is your nationality and how old are you? I am Sadio or I am Cambodian, yeah, like that. So the general condition or general situation that we use with verb to be, you know, past important or present important, we also can use with verb to be, yes? Okay, everyone, I hope you understand about it, verb to be. We use verb to be as primary auxiliary verb. Yeah, this one we use to create present progressive. This one we create past progressive. Okay, and this one we use to create present passive. And this one we use to create past passive. Do you understand? Okay, so after this one, just let you move one more primary auxiliary verb about to do. Are you ready? Let me go. Let you move to how to use verb to do as primary auxiliary verb. Okay? So very easy to recognize this one. I mean easier than the previous one maybe. 
A little C here, you know, negative N questions. So how, how do we use primary auxiliary verb to do? When we talking about verb to do, we are learning about type of primary auxiliary verb that we use to help simple sentence to be negative or question form in present and past. You know? And what is type of primary auxiliary verb do? Change. You see, verb to do that we used to have simple sentence to be negative or question in present. We use, use what? Do or, or does. Okay? This one, question form. And when we want to change simple sentence in present time to be negative, we use, okay? Do not or we say don't does not or we say doesn't this one okay so when we talk about present form and then we want to change simple sentence to be negative or question we use do or does don't or doesn't how about past form we use only one you know do change to become did everyone only did we use with all person subject you know only did reduce with all person subjects. How do you say? So when we want to change the same person in past form to be question, we use did. Negative, we use did not or then. You see? When you see didn't in past form, it's become negative. And when we use did to change same person in past form to become question. Okay? So to make you clear about this, let us say, example with me, go on. Primary auxiliary verb to do can be do does for present, did for past. Okay, so now let us see a simple example with me. I say, I teach English again. I teach English again. Okay. Do you see don't, doesn't, or did here? No, not yet changed to be any tense. But we want to change this simple sentence to be negative or question by use primary auxiliary verb to do okay you know this and then we talk about present form because teach is the first form of verb teach we talk about present simple this one and then i want to change this sentence to be negative how do i change you know already when we talk about present time we use do or does to be question don't or doesn't to be negative so now i want to change this sentence to be negative i can say I don't, you know, don't here mean do not, but don't mean shorten word, don't teach English. Okay, so we use primary auxiliary verb do plus adverb not. And then we, we can say I don't teach English or we can say I do not teach English. Don't is the short form of do not. You understand? Okay, so I can use she, subject she, you know, you can say she does, doesn't teach English, you know, she doesn't teach English. So you can see primary auxiliary verb, do plus not, and then main verb teach to become negative. So again, when we use does, we use with subject he, she, it. When we use do, with subject I, we, you, they, you know? So yes, we, we should know how to use do and does with subject as well. When we use subject I, we, you, they, do not or don't. When we use subject he, she, it, does not or doesn't. Like this, okay? Just example, she, she doesn't. I, I don't, okay? So this one we call present tense. And now, let you move to change this important sentence to be question. So how do we change to be question? As you know, you know, as you know, I told you already, we use do or does to change simple sentence to be question. Okay, you can see this sentence. Do I teach English? So we use primary auxiliary verb do to present or put before subject and then this sentence to become question. Okay, another one does. Okay, does she teach English? You can see 
we just move primary auxiliary verb to put before the subject, the sentence becomes questions. Okay, everyone, very simple to recognize like this. Do you understand? So when we use different subject as well, but you just remember that when we use subject I, we, you, they, do not. When we use subject he, she, it, does not. You get the idea? And then when we want to change to be question, we just use do or does at the beginning of the sentence, and then those sentences become question by themselves. Yes? Okay, so this one just focus about present time that we use primary auxiliary verb to do to change the simple sentence to be negative or question. So now let's remove about past time that we use only did or didn't to be question or negative. Okay, so let's remove to primary auxiliary verb do again but with past meaning. Okay, so you can see at teaching list the simple sentence or present simple, but when we want to use past simple, we have to change main verb take to be taught first. I can say the simple sentence I, I taught English. Okay, yes, I taught English. So this one is a simple sentence, but we call simple past. So now learn to change this simple past sentence to be negative or question with me by using did or did Okay, how do we change everyone? I can say I did, okay, did not, a short form, didn't teach English. Negative. Question. Did I teach English? Questions. Okay. Did or didn't we use with all subject pronouns? When you want to say she, she didn't. When you want to say he, he didn't. When you want to say they, will, you, didn't the same. So all subject pronouns use only one didn't with negative and did with question form. Okay, as you see, the first and then I teaching list. This one is simple present. But when we want to change to be past tense, we have to change main verb take to be the second form of verb taught. I taught English, you can see. But this one is the simple past. We don't use negative, you know, it's not it's not negative or question form. But we want to change this sentence to be negative or question, like this, you see. And then we use primary auxiliary verb did not to have simple sentence to be negative. But you look at this verb. The first one taught, but the second one teach. You know why? Why we use different form of this verb? That's okay, very easy to recognize. We have to change the second form of verb taught to be take because we use auxiliary verb in past already. You know, in past already. To be didn't mean negative in past, so verb we just keep the best form of verb, teach. We don't change like the first one I taught. You know, we change from taught to teach because we use primary auxiliary verb did not or did to have this important to be negative or question already. So everyone, do you understand? Yes, so everyone, again, primary auxiliary verb do, we used to have the important in present or past time to be negative or question by you think do does or don't or doesn't or did or didn't yes but the way that we use with using present time or past time they are not the same as you see here when we use primary auxiliary verb do we talk about the way that we want to change simple sentence to be negative or question and the way that we change simple sentence to be negative or question based on present time or past time present time we use do does for question don't or doesn't for negative, okay? And past time, did for question and didn't for negative. Is it easy? Okay, so after this one, let you move to another one, the last one, primary auxiliary verb to have. How do we use primary auxiliary verb to have in sentence? Let you go. This is the last part of primary auxiliary verb. 
verb to have and the verb to do. Okay? So, based on the first one, letter A, you learn about verb to be. You know how to use verb to be with progressive form, passive form, or general condition. And letter B about primary auxiliary verb to do. You know, we use primary auxiliary verb to do to have simple sentence to be negative or question in present or past. Okay? But this one, it is the last force related to primary auxiliary verb. Okay, so everyone, how do we use to have as primary auxiliary verb? Normally, verb to have as primary auxiliary verb, we use this verb to create perfect tense. You know, so when you want to create simple sentence to be perfect tense, primary auxiliary verb to have is really necessary just to make perfect tense. Okay, so you can see the simple form mean have plus verb, verb three. You know, let us see. Have here, we can refer to have or has as well. You know, plus verb, verb three. It depends on subject that we use. You know, when we use subject, I, we, you, and they. Yes, we use with have. I have, we have, you have, and they have. But when we use has mean with subject, he, she, and it. This one. That we use to make perfect tense. Okay? We use primary auxiliary verb to have to create perfect tense. Let us see example together. So now, how, how do we create simple sentence to be perfect tense? See example. I say, I teach English again, you know, you see, we just keep the same form like the previous one. I teach English, you know, this one is the simple sentence or simple present, I told you, but now, learn to change this sentence to be perfect tense with me, following the form that you seek about primary auxiliary verb to have that we use to create perfect tense. So now, how do we change this sentence to be perfect tense? Let us see. Okay, so as you see, we just have with subject I, we, you, they, and has with subject he, she, it. And now this one, simple sentence, you see subject I. And then I want to change this simple sentence to be perfect tense. I can say, I have, you see, main verb teach. So how do we use this main verb teach? You know, verb three. And this one is it verb three? No. It is the first form of verb. So we have to change this first form to be third form, verb three, or we call past participle verb. So how do we change this verb? We change to be taught. You see, teach, taught, taught. So this one I have taught in English. You can see, I have taught English. So what does it mean? I have taught English and I teach English. What does it mean? Two of them. Actually, they are different, not the same. The first one, present simple, we talk about a general habit or true habit, you know? General habit. I teach English. Normally, I teach English. I often teach English. I always teach English. But this one, I have taught English, means talk about long duration or long action that I have taught English for long times. You can see, I have taught English for long time, not only now. I started teaching English in the past time and until now. You get it? Long duration or long situation that I started my work as teachers. So this one, I have taught English. I talk about the long duration that I started teaching English. Okay, so the main point that I want you to be interested just about perfect tense. You know, have verb three. This one, have verb three. I have taught. So this form that we call perfect tense. Okay, so can we use only present perfect tense? No. We can change or we can use past perfect tense, future perfect tense, that's okay. You know, I can change, I hate taught like this. Okay, I have taught English like this. To be past perfect tense. Of course, this one perfect tense can be have verb three for present and can be Hate verb three for past. Okay, I'm sorry that I didn't express you about this like the previous about primary auxiliary verb to do. 
perfect tense can be present form you know can be present tense with have verb 3 can be past tense with had verb 3 you know like this had verb 3 past perfect tense have verb 3 present perfect tense you got it and then when we want to change this sentence to be negative or question that's okay it like the previous one we just add adverb not in the middle of primary auxiliary verb and main verb and then this sentence to become negative and when we want to change this sentence to be question we just move primary auxiliary verb hey to put b for subject and then it's become question okay the simple so the last one i don't want to mention a lot about it but you remember that when we want to change the simple sentence to be perfect tense, we must stand on the form have plus verb 3 for present and have plus verb 3 for past tense. Okay? And then when we want to change this sentence to be negative, we just say like this. I haven't, you know, I haven't, or you can say I have not. Haven't is a short form and have not is a long form. So haven't is short form from have not. I haven't taught okay english negative so when you want to change to be question have i you know taught english to be question so this is the lesson that i want to let everyone learn about primary auxiliary verb about verb to be verb to do and verb to have you know so to summarize about that verb to be we use to create progressive form or passive form or general condition with present time, past time, or future time, that's okay. We can use. But when we want to create progressive form or passive form, verb to be is importantly used. And then verb to do, we use primary auxiliary verb to do, to have. Simple sentence to be negative form, to be question form in present time or past time. By, do, or does, or did. Okay, and about the last one, verb to have. We use primary auxiliary verb to have to create perfect tense only. You know, we use this primary auxiliary verb to create perfect tense. We talk about long situation that started in the past time and still have for present or future going on. So perfect tense must be formed by primary auxiliary verb have plus verb three. Can be present form have plus verb 3, can be past form, had plus verb 3, can be future form, will have plus verb 3. You know, but in here I don't explain to you about future time, but just remember that what I want you to learn about verb to be, verb to do, verb to have, just know the basic form of them. I mean, when we see verb be plus verb ing, progressive form. Verb be plus verb 3, passive form. Verb do or does or did, to have simple sentence to be negative or question and primary auxiliary verb to have have plus verb 3 to be present perfect had plus verb 3 to be past perfect will have verb 3 to be future perfect like that okay so this one just talk about primary auxiliary verb and then the second one you will know about modal auxiliary verb okay so let me move to continue a relation about modal auxiliary verb what is modal auxiliary verb and how do we use modal auxiliary verb okay so let you see or continue to modal auxiliary verb with me